So let's say that I have things not working in my life. My body is sick, my money isn't flowing, my lover just left, and I hate my job. So <laughs> you sort of covered the gamut of things going wrong. I got things that are going wrong in my life experience. So if I focus on another lover, or if I focus on a better job, or if I focus on any of those things, if I hit them head on, all I'm going to do is activate them where they are and just hold myself right there longer and longer and longer. So I have to get back from the specifics that are already activated and find something that causes me to feel good now. So I see a flower and I stop to focus on it and I study it longer than usual and I let its beauty be received by me. I'm in a moment of non-resistance. I pet my cat who doesn't care if I hate my job, who doesn't care that my lover left, who doesn't care if my body's sick. In other words, I focus upon things that are less immediate and therefore in human terms seeming to be less important. But actually, I'm focusing upon the most important thing, which is how I feel right here and now. Step back into that more general place of finding things that are less resistant in nature as you focus upon them. In other words, feel how when you think about your, how your job, you get frustrated. And when you think about your lover leaving, you feel lonely. And when you think about your body and its condition, you feel worried. And when you think about your finances, you feel frightened or angry. Any of those things are not anything that you can do anything about from your current point of attraction. So what did we say earlier? I'm going to do something about what I can do something about. I can't make my lover come back, not right now. I can't change my body from sick to well, not right now. I can't change a job that I hate to something that I love, not right now. But I can find a thought that feels better right now. I can appreciate this flower. I can enjoy this meal that I'm eating. I can clean out this drawer. I can wash the car. I can sort out my closet. There are so many things that I can do something about right now. And a lot of them feel really good while you're doing them. I can listen to this music. I can listen to this tape. There are a lot of things I can do right now. And now, as I think about that and don't feel good and choose this and do feel good, and think about that and don't feel good and choose this and do feel good, I start to get the sense of what really matters. And what really matters isn't wrestling your body to the ground and making it better or it, it isn't fixing those things that are broken. What matters is finding a reason to feel good right now. Finding a reason to feel good right now. That's something you can do something about. And it is everything, you see. We could take an example of the person who is noted by medical doctors to be the sickest of the sick. And if we could hold them in suspended attention for an afternoon, their diagnosis would change. If we could get them to get into the ocean and just float for no reason other than for the sensation of floating. Or if we could get them to get lost in the counting of the beats of the music. Or if we could get them to focus purely upon the love of the beast that lays in their lap. You cannot disallow well-being and allow well-being at the same time. You just got to make a determination. I'm going to pay attention to my emotional state of being. My emotional state of being is the only thing that really matters. What is doesn't matter diddly squat. What is is only a snapshot of some vibrational pattern I got going. But how I feel right now is everything about my point of attraction. So it doesn't matter what has been and it really doesn't even matter what is. All that matters is how I feel about what is. And since there's so much to choose from about what is, I can do something about the way I feel. I can do something about the way I feel. I can do something about the way I feel. And we're not talking about the physical stamina. We're talking about I can feel joy or I can feel pain. I can feel anger. I can feel criticism. You can take every person that you know and you could choose a critical point or a point of appreciation. They both come easily. But the way you lean is only where you've practiced more. So. The reason we call this the science of deliberate creation is because we are suggesting that you deliberately choose the thought with the intention of feeling the alignment of energy, which is what allowing is. So don't use your willpower not to eat the donut. Use your willpower to choose the better feeling thought. Don't use your willpower 
not to say the thing that you'd like to say to the person that is rude to you use your willpower when you're not with them to think the best feeling thought that you can find use your willpower especially when it's easy when you first wake up stop and say ah oh, bless this day this is gonna be a great day today no matter where I'm going no matter what I'm doing no matter who I'm doing it with I'm gonna look for things that I want to see Jerry Nister got on an elevator just now and the door opened and there was absolute mayhem on the elevator <laughs> there were only three children but they looked like 43 children because they were moving so rapidly they were like little protons just <laughs> moving all around the elevator and Esther just dived right in she couldn't get in there fast enough she could feel the fun of it and Jerry stood back like he was not ever going to get in <laughs> and he was sort of waiting for things to settle down a little bit so that there might be a clear spot where he might stand and as Jerry got onto the elevator and they relaxed into the perfection of these people Esther thought there's just good stuff happening everywhere there are just joyful things to behold everywhere you turn there is so much to see that makes you feel good and the more you look for it the more you open to it the more you open to it the more you feel it until it's just not possible to be sick in a world like this it just isn't we've enjoyed this interaction it is so delicious to interact with you the intensity of you is really something <laughs> wonderful things have happened in this gathering here today we have truly taken thought beyond that which it has been before life is good and it's gonna get better watch for it expect it we know we've seen it there is great love here for you <laughs>